Run for your lives! Oh, my face! Oof, that hurt. Okay, hello and welcome to Bite. As you can see, ah, oh, the town of Haven is not really much for Haven. Um, oh, am I, uh, no one saw me holding that. <laughs> I was not responsible for this in any shape or form. <laughs> okay. Alas, the town I've joined has been destroyed. There's a bit of incriminating evidence here. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start our own town. Ugh. So, this is welcome to the second part of our towny tutorial. Um, this one will be about how to make a town, how to manage a town, and uh, how to create a nation as well, which is a collection of towns. Now, um, my, my trusty haven has been destroyed. We shall run off into the wilderness and start a new civilization. Okay. As I said, this is the second part of our tutorial. The next one's how to do. The previous one was how to uh, how to manage the town. Uh, sorry, how to manage your plot, I should say. Um, this one would be more with town management. So, if you don't fancy sitting in your plot, paying uh, some fat cat mayor uh, lots of money, you can go out and be the fat cat mayor. So, uh, all's well that ends well. Right, let's run. It's going to be a desert town. This one. Let's run out here. Right. First of all, if you're looking to uh, create a town, you need somewhere nice to put it. So there's no point in sticking it like five yards away from your uh, your previous or your neighbour's town because that uh, a is rather inconvenient for the for the other mayor, and b sort of limits your expansion slightly. Uh, when you you can build about four houses, then you're stuck. Okay. The main aim of a town is to obviously grow so uh, create the town try and encourage people in um, to your town and they give you extra money by buying your plots just like we did on the previous um, video when we bought the plot this time someone will be buying plots off you so I found my good place here that I like it's all very nice and I shall make this area the town home square the home square is the first square you claim so with the uh, as with the normal uh, resident commands you're using the forward slash t command so if I do forward slash t first command I'll be using uh, creating a town will be new so town new and then I'll create a name um, oh God, I can't think of one um, Newport <laughs> that'll do so t new Newport there we are create a town called Newport that's it I've done I've created a town this block here which by default is 16 by 16 um, is now my town. So if I walk over here, it should go wilderness somewhere. Come on. Ah, there we go. Wilderness PvP. And I'll walk over here. Newport Settlement PvP. Oh, it's got PvP on, you see there at the bottom. It's got down here. Um, you can change all of these settings, and I'll be running through how to change each one as it is, as, it, as the uh, tutorial goes on. Right. You also notice that when I walk in, it says home which in uh, square brackets which means this is the home square if I do I run over here for a second the quickest way to get back to my town is to do T spawn um, if I do that I go straight back to my home square so it's the sort of meeting place and instant teleportation uh, location for all of your residents now if you do that to another town in some servers you can do that on uh, every town you can teleport to anyone's town but it costs you money but it's usually free if you're teleporting to your own town. Okay, now I've got my home square, what do I do? First of all, I can do 4 slash T, and that will give me the information on my town. Here we are. So we've got Newport, PvP is on. Board, this is the, the general notification board, so at the moment it's on nothing. <laughs> it, well, it's, it's on town set board message. So if I do exactly what it says there, and do 4 slash town set board, Welcome to New oop, Newport, the best town ever. There we go. So when people log in now, oops, if I could spell welcome properly, never mind. <laughs> um, welcome to the, the most dyslexic town ever. Um, so when people log in, it will show their their town's board. So if uh, if I log off, then log back in again. Uh, well, I'll quickly do that. Oh no, I won't <laughs> mess up the year recording. But when I log back in, I'll see my town's board. Let's do 4 slash T again to bring this up. Okay. 
you see here it's got town size one of eight now for every resident you've got you can buy eight of these plots so I've got one which is my home block if I want to expand my town anymore I need to walk to the edge and this is the whole uh, the whole point really is expanding making your town better so as soon as it goes PvP the wilderness where is it come on come on come on come on where the hell am I in town anyway hang on <laughs> have, have, have I lost my town where's my town there, there we are there we are okay I was outside town okay we're in the wilderness now so what we need to do is forward slash t claim to claim a new uh, plot of land but if I do that now it says I cannot afford it because if you look in the town bank I have no money whatsoever if I do money myself um, see how much money I've got oh, uh, let's try balance. No, uh, econ. There we go. <laughs> I have 2,172 coins. Now it's just cost me the default amount of 250 to set the town up. So I've got 2,172 left. So what I can do is I can move that money into the town from my, my wallet. So T deposit, town deposit, and I'll put in brr, uh, 200. There we go. So then if I do 4 slash T again, you shall see that the bank has now got 200 whatevers in its uh, in its bank, depending on what country you're from. Uh, <laughs> you'd also notice it's got daily upkeep as well. Um, every day is a towny day. So every real day, I think it is, um, you'll be charged 10 coins or 10 whatever, 10 pounds to, um, to keep the town going. Obviously, if you don't pay that, the whole thing falls into ruin. You can turn this off as an administrator, but if you've got lots of towns and you want them to expire and no one's coming on, just set this. And after um, after it expires, the whole town will be deleted. And then we've got the mayor down here, Hermit Mumkrunchi, that's me, and one resident. Now, this actually gets higher and higher um, the more residents you get. So you've got two bonuses for getting more people. You get eight extra plots for the town size, and you get extra um, extra title so as soon as it gets a bit higher you get mayor then you'll get uh, god emperor I think it is I can't remember now but you get quite a high title it's quite good trying to get your title up and get more people as possible into your town so now I've put money in the town bank I'm standing next to my main um, settlement I'll do T claim again and instead of there we go instead of saying no money it's now processing so if I walk over here that's home I walk back here, it doesn't say wilderness because I've claimed this one. If I walk to the, this side, I can claim this one as well. There we go. T claim. Uh, and then I'll claim this next one here as well. Town claim. And as you can see, if I do four slash T, my money's going down each one I claim. So uh, eventually, oh, sorry. And also you'll see here the town size is now half its maximum size so soon I'll be needing some more people you can't you can only claim plots that are right next to your actual town so if I uh, and not diagonally either so if I'm here in the wilderness I could claim this plot because it's next next to mine but if I zip over here into the desert and try and claim this one with T claim it's not attached to the edge so we can't do that what we have to do instead is for slash T claim outpost which claims uh, an outpost surprisingly <laughs> didn't really need to explain that do I but um, this claims a small plot of land that's away from the main uh, main town um, this may cost a lot more depending on what the server admin said so I just claim that uh, okay I don't know which <laughs> perhaps I'm too close to my town let's, let's, let's go right over here I think there's a limit as well. There is a set limit to how close you can actually build a new town. So uh, you, you people don't build their town centre right next to someone else's. Let's try T claim outpost again. Oh, look at that! It's 500. So it's 250 pound. Whoa. <laughs> Why the long face? Um, it's 250 to start a new town, but it's 500 to claim an outpost. So let's. Uh, T deposit uh, 500. There we go. Then I should be able to T claim 
uh, what is this? Outpost. There we go. Okay, we've claimed this area here now too. So this is our little outpost and our main town's over there. So, and I think, there you go, in square brackets it says outpost. So it's like a little home away from home like by the uh, by the river. Look at that, it's very nice. I think also we can actually claim round it with a normal T claim. Let's have a quick look. So if I do T claim, yes. So the outpost acts like another home square. So you could actually uh, create another little town which is attached to your main town. Now obviously if I do T spawn, I'll go back to my town home. There we go. I'm over at my town home. There's my outpost over there. And if I do T outpost one, oh, helpful if I uh, if I did the proper commands. T outpost one. I pop back over to my outpost. So you can actually oh no slime. You can actually teleport between your outposts and your main town relatively easy and free of charge. So it's it's very handy to uh, if your main town's been built with a big circular wall around it uh, and you've got no more room you can build an outpost over the hill which could be your uh, uh, overflow population overflow that's a good way of describing it okay let's go back to the main town spawn right now we've got our plots um or our town set up i should say um i'll just quickly do four slash t okay we've got six of eight plots and we've got a hundred left in the bank. Okay, let's see what we can do. What we need to do to get people to join, because obviously, being the mayor, I can run around, I can build. Oops, I can build, I can, I can do whatever I like here. Basically, the mayor runs the town, so I can do anything. I can move, I can open chests, I can place blocks, destroy blocks. Anybody who comes into the town, a bit like our previous tutorial, will not be able to do anything. They can't place. Um, they can't destroy unless we allow them. So, first of all, I'll run through the permissions to change town permissions for random strangers. But this can be very dangerous, so uh, I advise perhaps not doing this unless you really need to. So, what we do is use the T set command. If I just do that, it gives you a little option about what to do. You've got the T set board message, we've also got T set mayor. So, if I wanted to change the mayor to somebody else, I could change it to anybody by doing T, also T, set mayor, um, whatever. Obviously we've got town set home block as well, so if I don't like this one as the home block, I can go over here and say T, set home block. There we go. So I can change that over there. I'm not sure, can I, can I do that to uh, T, oh, post, whoops. Outpost one. Let's see if I can change the home block over here to an outpost. I'm not sure I can actually do this. It's good to see. Yes, you can. So you can actually change your main area. Oh, great! So I've got to walk over. Uh, I've got to walk over there now because I've just changed the <laughs> changed the outpost. So if I do T spawn now, I should. Oops. Oh, I've broken it now. I've broken it. Okay, let's quickly walk over here. I've changed the home block, which has changed the spawn location, but I haven't set the spawn yet. So what I'll do. This is the main town. I'll, I'll stuff the uh, the home block back over here. Okay, so let's do T set home block, and I think from there as well you've got T set spawn, and we can we can do that. We can only do that in the home block. So if I walk over here and do T set spawn, it's not within the home block. So I need to get to the home block, which is here, and T set spawn. Oops. T set spawn. There we are. So we can change that. Uh, if you want to spawn on top of a spire or in a building or something, you can you can change the spawn. Um, okay. The next one we look at is the the perm, which is what I was talking about. Um, the changing the permissions for the town. So if I do T set perm, you shall see all of the different bits and bobs we need to use. Right. Resident ally outsider. So, build, destroy, switch, item use. So they're the levels of permissions for users, and these are the levels of the permissions you can grant. So, set perm, on, off. So if I do set, oops, forward slash T, set perm, oops, uh, dear me, set perm on, you should see this little box come up. Now you see friend, ally, outsider. So build, everybody, destroy, everybody, Switch everybody, item use everybody. So at the moment, 
everything can happen. Someone can walk into my down and blow the whole place up. So if I do T set perm off, which is better, there we go, everything's off, which is better. So nobody can do anything. Not even the, if anybody comes in, joins the town, they still can't switch or use items, which is, which might be good if you've got uh, an open town. But you can also change individual ones. So, see we use this, this one here. So we use T, set perm, level type, on, off. So, we can use T, for example, if I wanted to use or allow people who've joined my town to switch and use doors. So I want to change the switch um, tag. So I do T, set, perm, and then I'll do resident switch on yes there we are uh, it's a bit weird because it's you use resident for the uh, uh, <laughs> for the uh, people who join your town but it's F for friend down in here so I've just changed that so friends who join the town can now switch and open doors if I wanted to allow allies which are allied towns I'd use practically the same uh, command, but I change resident to ally. There we go, and that puts an A there. Here we go. And if I wanted outsiders to switch but not do anything else, I'd change that to three guesses outsider. Switch on. There we go. So everybody can switch everything in my uh, base, which isn't going to be too much of a problem unless someone's stacked dynamite under a switch, uh, which I hope they haven't. Um, no one can build, no one can destroy. No one can use any items, which is which is probably the good way of doing it. So people can come in, use your shops, mess about, but they can't break anything, and they can't use um, things like flint and steels. <laughs> be another uh, be another haven all over again. That's basically the same type there, and um, we don't need to worry about that. Set perm reset. That sets everything off. Uh, back to normal, including all the plot permissions. So uh, be careful with that one, unless you, if you've got loads of custom plot permissions, you don't want to do that. Otherwise, you may end up with no custom plot permissions, <laughs> which can be a bit of a pain. Okay, where was I? Uh, I've done the T set perm. T town set taxes. So town set taxes. Everyone's favourite subject. Okay, I'm just going to quickly get my cat off my keyboard. Come on, oh, off you get. Because he's going to cause a bit of mischief. There we go. I'm sure. <laughs> right. Uh, what was it doing? Oh yes, taxes. Um, we can do town set taxes. Oops. Ten. There we go. So daily resident tax is ten. So my town upkeep, as you may remember, if I do four slash t, um, is ten. And my tax is ten. So one resident will pay for uh, the town daily tax. So anyone who joins my town if it's an awesome town I can put the tax up so you know it might be such an awesome town <laughs> and I've made such an effort building the damn thing um, we could probably put that up to 50 a day but then people might leave if the taxes are too high so it's just like real life really <laughs> whoops okay um, the next item is whoops town set T set if I can type properly um, let's see plot tax shop tax and embassy tax now you can only be a member of one town at a time so what you can do is you can create embassies so if i want where's the home that's the home one here this one here if i want that to be an embassy i do plot set embassy oops <laughs> if i could type properly <laughs> there we go so if i walk over here this is a home, and this one over here is an embassy plot, which means players from other towns can come in and they can actually purchase that plot and live here. So they can actually live technically in two towns. They can have two, uh, two houses, one in one town of their town, and one as an embassy plot in another town, which is quite useful to do. Uh, you can also then, using plot set, you can do plot town, I should say, town set. Uh, Embassy tax 100. If I can spell embassy, it's going to be my downfall today, that is. Embassy tax, there we go. So my normal plot tax is 10. So anybody who moves into my town and sets a plot up gets charged 10 a day. 
if someone's feeling flush enough to buy an embassy, they're going to get charged a hundred per day, which is well, pretty good. We you know these uh, these ambassadors with their I don't know, ambassadorial rights. <laughs> they can pay extra in my town any day. Okay, so if I claim this one here as well, good. Okay, T set. Uh, you can also do that for the shop tax as well. Plot tax is what we've just done. Um, actually, we, we can set a plot tax so it taxes per plot. But I'll run through how to claim a plot in just a moment. Uh, shop tax, if you want someone to be able to set up a shop in a particular plot, you can charge them extra for shop, uh, setting up a plot. Right, I want to change the initial purchase price. So on, you see here we've got town set. Plot price, shop price, embassy price. Basically, I'm going to act like somebody who's just coming into the town. So I've just got a brand new person. Hang on, I'll go into the wilderness. Here we go. I come into town. There we go. Newport settlement. There's the home square. I've got a non home square over here. No, oh, that's an embassy plot. Hang on, let's get out of the way. Let's get out of the way of the embassy plot. <laughs> oh, where's the other plot? Here we go. Okay. I want to claim this plot. But what do I do? Well, the previous tutorial we did plot claim, but it is not being claimed. It's not for sale, so we can't actually do it. What the mayor has to do, the mayor has to walk into the plot. There we go. And he has to type in plot FS for for sale and then the amount you want to charge. 10. 10 coins. There we are. So when I now walk into this, it'll be like the initial tutorial. It'll show the plot for sale. There we go. And if we put this one up for sale, plot FS for the embassy, but we don't put a number. Let's not put a number. So let's put it up for sale. And if we walk back into there, that's zero, you see. Now, that, the default value, if we don't put a value like I did for this one, for 10, we need to set, to set the plot price, shop price, and embassy price, which is the default prices. So if you want every plot that you claim and put up for sale to be 10, uh, you do T set plot price 10. There we go. So every plot's now at 10 that you claim from now on. Um, I'll put the embassy price. So T plot embassy. My God, I spelled it right. Price 50. Let's do that. So let's just see if this one's. Oh, where am I? I've lost my, <laughs> lost my bearings. OK, let's go over here and see what this is. Embassy. You see, that's not actually uh, up for sale. So if I. Well, it is up for sale, but it obviously hasn't taken the default price. So if I do plot NFS, not for sale, that will take it off. And then that won't be showing anymore, but it's still an embassy. So if I then do plot for sale without putting any price, there you go. Let's just see. This should have taken the default price that we put in. There we go, for sale 50. So it's taken the default price we've set for the town, which is a very easy way. If you don't have to bother about putting every single price on, you can literally just uh, set the default price and then go around claiming, which is a lot easier for the larger towns. Okay, T set, where are we now? We have town set name, name. <laughs> okay, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? So uh, you can change the name. What have I got now? My town, forward slash T, is Newport with a lowercase n, tut tut. So if I do T set name, Newport with a capital N. Oop. I know what. Let's do a, a Belgian thing. I think is that is it is that, is that it Newport? Yeah. There we go. There we go. So if I do four slash T, it's changed. It's now a different a different name. There we are. So, but you can change that as many times as you like. Uh, I don't think you're limited on that, and it doesn't cost you anything either, which is a bit of a bonus. So if I do T set, I think the last item is tag. I think this enables us to put it in front of our name. So if I do T set tag, uh, up to four letters, mm, what to put? NP. Nope. Let's have a look at that. Then if I say hello, everybody, 
Oh no, no, I think you might need a uh, tally chat for that, so uh, you can ignore that for the moment. But if I do T and see if it shows up in here, no it doesn't. So I'm getting there, I've got one outpost, I've got um, seven out of eight plots, I've got the switching, so basically the forward slash T shows you everything you need to know about this. Um, ooh, I'll sh quickly show you how to change this. Now you can change not permissions, um, but general settings for the whole town. And you do that by doing forward slash T and then toggle. And as you can see, what you can toggle. So you can uh, you can toggle open, which will show. There we go. Town invite list joining is now enabled. So anybody can now join the town. Warning, Tanny Perm should be turned off if Tanny is set to open. Town set perm off, followed by the blah, 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 which is what I did initially. So I turned off people being able to build and destroy and set so anybody can switch, but that is all. That's what I've done, which is very important because if you've got the ability for residents to build and destroy, you don't want people joining your town willy-nilly. <laughs> or you're, you're bound to get a griefing team rock up and uh, knack your town. So uh, make sure the town is set and protected before you actually open it to everybody. But I can also do to town oops, toggle uh, open again to close it. So it's now closed. So no one can actually join it unless the mayor does T add player name. I'm already part of Newport. But that basically then sends an invite across to a player um, asking them if they want to forward slash accept and if they accept they become part of the town so that's quite a good way of inviting them to the town uh, so that's T add uh, player and that will do oops I think I spelled that wrong though <sighs> okay the next one we can do I think we do need to do PVP I'll start from the top here work down so if I do T toggle PVP whoops this has disabled town pvp so if i run over here out into the wilderness with pvp in brackets and then run back it again no pvp there we go then i can toggle it back wilderness there is pvp <laughs> there we go this is great fun this most of the time i disable pvp unless you've got a pvp based world um a lot of people expect to be fairly safe in their house so I've turned that off, so while the people are building and uh, messing about on their plots, no one can actually harm them. Oh, but that hasn't, I think that hasn't affected the uh, embassy plot, that's still PvP. So I can actually do plot, toggle, ooh dear, toggle PvP. There we go, that's better. There we go, so that obviously doesn't affect the town, uh, or sorry, it affects the town, but it obviously doesn't affect the embassy plots when you change the, the general town um, PvP. Okay, the next one you can toggle is explosions. I think this is fairly self explanatory. You've got a, uh, oops, explosion, there we go, and now enabled. So if a creeper were to wa walk in, or, whoops, or actually, let's, let's, let's experiment with this. We could do a few gratuitous explosions, I think. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ta-da! Let's see if this works. Oh, that's very interesting. I bet you it hasn't... <laughs> okay, hang on, let's just try over here. <laughs> Get rid of some of these. Okay. There we are! <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Now, uh, there's a, there is an interesting setting in Townie where it rebuilds. I'll have to see if this does this, but I'll, we'll keep an eye on that in a second. So if I just toggle that again, T, toggle explosion, now disabled. If I set one of those off now, it should be the same as what happened in the, uh, the plot over there. So it blows up, but nothing really happens. Uh, ah, I think that is a towny, that's another towny little trick. I think it has wilderness rebuild. So if I set one of these off in the wilderness, There we go. To prevent the wilderness getting too trashed by creeper explosions, <laughs> I believe it has an automatic regen. We shall see. Let's have a look. No, come on. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? We shall come back to this. We shall come back to this. If I see it working, I'll pause it. Ah, there we go. Look, there we are. 
So to prevent creepers just annihilating your wilderness, uh, any explosions in the wilderness will get rebuilt, which is very handy. So you can have massive great cannon warfare and explosions and what have you, but uh, uh, it'll all rebuild afterwards and be safe and sound. Plus it'll also crush mobs, which is very, very amusing. So <laughs> go on, go on, get, get entombed. Oh well. Okay, back to what I was doing. Yes, toggling explosions. So T, toggle, what's the next one? Fire, which is basically exactly the same as the um, the plot one. If you don't want your town to burn down, toggle fire off. That's that's the lesson of this uh, <laughs> this day. Um, obviously, a haven there went up in flames. If they had toggled fire off, it wouldn't have been a problem. But uh, no, they didn't, so it all went up in flames. Um, town toggle mobs. Now, this might be interesting. T, toggle mobs. Again, it's fairly self-explanatory. Um, if we've got it off mobs will come into this area so if we <coughs> excuse me if we grab where are we a zombie mm. here we go two friendly twins there we go mm. same guts and everything now they can wander around town they can spawn in the dark areas but if i toggle mobs off it kills them all dead so even if you toggle them on the side of the town no, nope, hang on. <laughs> hang on, there we go, there we go. And if I go over here... Come on, attack me. Come on, oh, okay. If, if they wander into the town, they will immediately disappear. There cannot be mobs inside a town. There we go, so it's a protective place. So if you have PvP off and mobs off, you are safe. No explosions. Uh, uh, no fire. It's it's ah lovely, lovely. <laughs> uh, right, oh, public. What's this? T toggle. Oh, I've never used this one before. Actually, let's see what this does. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, I know what that is. Basically, if you've got um, T toggle public disabled, you've got not a public town, so it stops people town spawning inside your home block, and it also stops people doing town. Uh, if I just do four slash T. It shows Newport. If I did forward slash T uh, Newport, that would be the same. And anyone can do that. If you want to dis disable the ability for other players to see your town stats and how much you've got in the bank, etc., do the uh, the toggle public. I'll just toggle it back on again. There we go. So people can now see it and they can now town spawn. Obviously, if you're antisocial, have it off. If you're if you're social or want visitors, have it on, and all is good. If you don't like somebody, or you think they're they're up to no good, um, you can as well as T add Crunchy. Obviously, I'm already a member of it. If someone's being a bit of a pain in a closed town, you can do T kick and kick them out of the town. I don't see. If, I'm not sure what will happen. Can I kick myself at my own town? No, I can't, no. But, um, yeah, you can actually boot them out of the town so they can't join. If it's an open town, obviously, they can just rejoin. But if you said it's a closed, they're then an outcast, thrown out, banished from their town. If someone's been good, however, you can possibly give them a better rank. And you do that by T. And then use rank. And you can see here, town rank add remove residence. So you can do town rank add... Um, mm, grungy. Uh, awesome. I don't know. <laughs> I'll make a system or TVP. Okay, uh, and VIP. VIP. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic. You can then ass uh, assign uh, townie permissions. Um, not even townie permissions. You can assign any permission from any plugin, apparently, to the ranks that townie gives. So if you promote. You could then perhaps actually give them a different, uh, like for example, a teleport or a TP from, a, from the Essentials plugin. You could probably assign that. I could also do the same T rank add Humcrunchy assistant. There we go. An assistant is your helper. So if you've got someone you trust, and I explicitly say trust, you can promote them to the role of assistant 
they basically have the same powers as a mayor, but they are your helper. So make sure you do trust them, otherwise they can actually kick you from the town and take over. So don't get any ideas, anybody. I don't, <laughs> but uh, just make sure you trust them. But they can also invite people to the town, uh, take money out of the bank, um, create outposts, and all sorts of things like that. Um, so that's all good. And they're quite handy. If you've got a large town, you need a good, uh, good helper to give you a hand. Otherwise, you'll be a bit swamped. Um, trying to deal with all the support requests from your uh, citizens. Now I'm building a quick little hut here just to demonstrate something in a second. There we go. Okay, we have the town, we have everything set up. Um, we've shown you the ranks. This is going to be my palace. And it's going to be my palace because I'm I'm, I'm big-headed big enough to believe that I need a nation, not just a town. Now, Towns are okay, but what would you do if you've got so many people and so many mayors and everyone wants to be mayor, uh, and but you haven't got enough space? What you do is you do forward slash n for nation, or you can do nation. You can then you do new, and I'll do uh, uh, I don't know um, uh, Gotland. I didn't know it was an ancient civilization. I think over in the uh, Sweden way can't afford it okay because if I do four slash T I have a grand total of 75 <laughs> whatever coins so if I uh, I think I've got some more in my hand yeah I've got loads in my hand I think it's a thousand thousand coins to start a nation so what I'll do is I'll do T deposit 1000 into the bank and I do four slash T I've got I've got plenty of yeah plenty of money now so let's try that what I was trying before again here we go Nation New Gotland. So if I push that. Hooray! I've started a new nation. So <laughs> what this has done initially, nothing. You do, it doesn't look very, you know, very spectacular when you create a nation. I have to admit. But if I do four slash t, let's look at my town now. You'll notice that we have lots more town blocks. Nation bonus of ten. So we can immediately go and claim eleven more. Um, uh, blocks so that's a that's quite a bonus there we've done as you can see down here as well we've also got leader I'm no longer a hermit <laughs> I'm a leader now because I'm a leader of a nation uh, it also lists my uh, assistant and VIP here as well I'm, I'm everywhere see look at this as well is also added on the nation there the land of Gotland a nation and the residence leader from crunchy okay what we can do now is if there was a second town anywhere Say there was uh, Dave's town over there. Um, I wanted to. I thought, well, I, I like Dave. I like his town. Um, I think it'd be beneficial for us to work together. So I could do nation add Dave's town. And what he'll do there, this won't work. Cause there's no Dave's town. There we go. But um, basically, he'll get a little request saying, "Whom Crunchy has invited you to the nation of Gotland? Accept or deny?" And he'd hopefully do accept. Um, by accepting it, he then gets added into this nation as well. We get to be allies, so if I do force slash t, this ally flag comes into play then. So if I want outsiders, which is everybody else, not to be able to switch, I turn off that, so only people who are a member of my town or a member of my nation would be able to switch in the town. So immediately it's beneficial for Dave because he can come over here and open my chest. I don't know why we do that, but just in case, we can also um, fight together, which I'll describe later. If I show you the other nation commands, oops, nation, I've got this, <laughs> excuse me. Oh yes, yeah, if we do forward slash nation, it'll show the, the land of Gotland nation here. So we've got nation tax, which we can, uh, which we can set. So towns can have to pay to be uh, part of the nation. We've also got daily upkeep. Now the daily upkeep is quite a hefty chunk, but that does include all of the taxes levied on all of the towns in the nation. So if this town here, for example, I wanted to, I'll need to pay a hundred pounds a day. We've got nothing in the bank. Again, if it, if, it, uh, if we can't pay, the nation is disbanded. So we don't want that. So nation deposit. Whoa, deposit. Uh, <laughs> deposit 
let's try 500. Have I got 500? Oh, I don't have, oh goodness me, how much have I got? 472, so I'll try that. Nation deposit 400. There we go. So if I do 4 slash N now, you should see we've got 400. So that's enough for four days. So what we're looking to do perhaps is to tax one of my towns. So what I'm going to do is 4 slash N, set, and all those things. Look at this. Set king. So I think I'll, I think I am king anyway. So I'll just make sure. N, set, king, um, crunchy. Yes. Let's have a look. If I do 4 slash N, Oh, I'm still leader. But as you get more people, as you get lots of people in your towns, and everybody as a member of your town, uh, sorry, every other town as a member of your nation gets more people, this will go up. I think uh, I think I'm on, on the bike server. I'm God Emperor, which is which sounds pretty good actually. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention, uh, every town joining your nation will also get this nation bonus and as more people go or more towns get into your uh, nation that nation bonus will go up so if you've got say eight towns the nation bonus will be 30 and every town in your nation will get 30 extra town blocks so it's really really good for every town in your uh, in your nation so i want to cover this cost so i'm going to put the capital as newport so uh, an N set capital whoops capital <laughs> I'm a little bit tired you may gather uh, N uh, I've got to change this name of this town <laughs> I can't remember the bloody name oh here you go Newport it's there there we go Ooh. excellent I think it was already but you can you can change that to a different town if needs be uh, you can also set taxes. So if I do four slash n set taxes, and I'll make it forty. Oops. Oh dear! Look at what we've done here. N set taxes forty. There we go. I've set the nation tax at forty. So every town per day will pay forty into the uh, into the coffers. So the tax system goes up and up and up till it gets to the uh, till it gets to the to the nation and then the nation can spend it we can also nation set name change the name of it if you like uh, nation set title Ooh, well that sounds interesting let's try that and n set title title gotlander does this change our name set nation set yeah, i don't know why that's not working nation set title it's not registered. Uh, set title. Let's have a look. Oh, ah, here we go. Let's title master. Ah, look at that. So yes, I can give titles out for the nation. So if I go, hello, does that put it on my? Does that prefix it? No, it doesn't prefix. But leader. Ah, there we go. So you can you can give titles to people. So I'm still leader because I'm the king. So. Uh, but you can issue titles to people too, which is pretty good. I didn't know about that. Uh, we can also set the uh, the tag as well. Let's see if we can do that. Nation set tag. Hello. Oops. Hell. I think this will only work with Tally Chat. Yes, it does. So if you've got Tally Chat plugin as well, which uh, enables you to alter the prefixes and suffixes of your names you'll be having the nation tags onto the front uh, and also the town tags so you can uh, proudly display where you're from right there we go can we toggle stuff in the nation yes we can okay the main thing we need to know about nations is they can also go to war so if we look right what we can do as well there is something called uh, Towny war this is set off by the uh, by the admins you can't do this normally I think uh, so what would happen is the admin would declare towny war and everybody would therefore be forced to fight I think you can put nation toggle neutral there we go. Oh goodness me! I've just paid a hundred pounds, a hundred coins to change to neutral status. Um, so I'm not taking part in the next towny war. So 
the tally war can be a little bit risky. So if you uh, end up losing power, people can attack and start griefing your, your blocks until your mayor is killed, your king is killed, or your home block is captured, which is quite good. I might explain that in a different tutorial, but this one will all stay for, uh, for controlling towns. But you can, of course, I've just done there, pay your way out. <laughs> uh, can I toggle not neutral? Oh, there you go. I've, I've just paid another hundred to, to get back in. Oh, this is costing a fortune. So, yeah, so toggling it costs a hundred coins. So you can toggle it between neutral and not neutral. So it's fairly expensive. Um, but, you know, you can opt out. If you're worried that your residents might be in a bit of trouble or might not want to join a war and have their buildings griefed, you can opt out of the, uh, of the town. I think the last thing to do is to show you the all else fails. I mean, if you want to leave your town, you've had enough. All the residents are uh, are being a bit annoying. Um, <laughs> it's generally lost interest, and you want to go and start a new town, or uh, you just want to give it away. You can actually do uh, town set mayor, and they can, <laughs> there we go, Dumbo. You could set Dumbo as the mayor. Fantastic, um, and that's it. Then you can leave town because you can't leave town I think if I try and T leave it's a bit like chain town join but T leave uh, there you go choose another mayor if you're sure so you can't leave if you're the mayor and abandon your people having said that you can actually really annoy your people <laughs> with the disastrous command I think which does not have a confirm command of T delete now this is only ever done at a last resort because it is absolutely apocalyptic. I really don't like this this command. Um, the default setting for townie is uh, revert on unclaimed. It says so. If, if for example, I don't want this plot over here. It's a bit of a mess and it's costing money. No one's buying it. If I do forward slash t unclaim, I shall un oops, t unclaim it will unclaim this plot and look what happens there we go I've abandoned this area revert on unclaimed so as it's reverting <laughs> goodbye goes the uh, everything I've built and it all it's done a snapshot when I first claimed it from the wild so anything that was built here before I claimed it would, would come back but uh, just be warned that if you do uh, for example, let's have a look, if I just quickly put an example here, if I do a chest of stuff, there we go, if you're thinking there, there we go, and then claim it, everybody loses everything, and <laughs> I mean everything, so it's, it's, it is a terrible, terrible command, so if, if I'm leaving town, and I don't want the town, I could do T, delete, say my farewells, goodbye Newport, Oh, enter. Abandoned. All the doors immediately fall off, the chests immediately, all protection, all signs are withdrawn. Uh, every town plot, as you can see there, the last town of the nation was disbanded, so the nation of Gotland was disbanded. The town of Newport fell into ruin. Uh, this one actually fixed as well, because I blew it up after I'd claimed the town. Um, the whole, everything will disappear, even the chests, everything in the chests will fly out everywhere. The <laughs> It's like, you know, it's like the apocalypse come, isn't it? It's disaster. I really don't like this command, especially when mayors who've got a bit fed up just leave and unclaim their towns, and away goes everybody's possessions. So whilst town is a fantastic um, land protection, uh, self-managing sort of anti-griefing system, uh, make sure your mayors either haven't got this command or, <laughs> or they're responsible enough to own a town. Please, please, don't let them use that command. Ah, oh dear. It's like banging head against an evil cactus. Okay. Well, there, and I think that's about it. We've taught, the, we've shown you there how to claim a town, how to expand your town. Um, you can join up with other towns through the way of a nation, and sell your plots to uh, other civilians, um, and obviously increase your networking capability so uh, it, it's brilliant absolutely brilliant plugin and it forms quite a nice community and quite a good rivalry as well between between rival towns we've there's always one town that's better than everyone else and everyone's jealous and just waiting to smash them up with townie war there we are excellent
So this is, in my opinion, one of the most important plugins you could possibly get, and it makes managing anti-griefing systems absolutely easy as pie or cake or whatever other delicious food you're thinking of. <laughs> um, our next tutorial down at the bottom will be for the uh, system administrators and the server administrators on how to configure and how to set up um, Townie on your server, and I really do recommend you do. So uh, catch me later on when I, uh, when I post that one up. Uh, click the link below if I already have. Excellent. Thanks very much everyone, and we'll see you later.